this is a Pioneer um, EQ and uh, one I'm going to be selling as well and uh, basically I've just uh, got the same output from the rear of my head unit going into the back of it um, I've quickly wired it up and I've got one that's the uh, left output going here to the O-scope so let's go ahead and we're going to unpause it once again because it's uh, for low pass crossover I've got a 40 hertz uh, test signal and so you'll see on the scope there that's the output and the wave is a little bit funny um, just kind of how it, it does the wave um, and in fact actually this one actually does attenuate the low level signal a little bit um, you would have to readjust with your gains like you should anyway uh, anytime uh, you run anything in between your head unit and your amp or if there's any change whatsoever to the input on your amp you always want to readjust your gains accordingly uh, but as you notice, there's a little bit of a, an odd waveform. If, if we take uh, this crossover out um, and just run directly to it, you'll see that uh, uh, the wave uh, is, is perfectly clear again. So here what we'll do is uh, this crossover has only a few, a few things. Basically there are three settings on the front. There's a frequency setting which runs all the way from 50 to 200, so that's our low pass. So we can go anywhere from down to 50 up to 200 and you see once we drop it well low now we get kind of more of a curvature a nice a very very interesting peak very odd but it's kind of curves it off there and uh, so that's down to 50 if we go the other direction it's going to kind of create kind of an odd sort of wave as we go all the way to the other end of 200 most people probably run somewhere 100 or less um, we can find kind of a nice curve there that's about 60. We'll play with that for right now. Um, another setting it has is uh, stereo and mono. You can go back and forth between stereo and mono, as well as on those with stereo and mono, you have normal and reverse. So you can reverse the phase. And you see the phase has just changed there. And then we'll go back. So that's mono normal there, and then mono reversed. And finally, the level. And this is the adjustment for um, the. Uh, bass boost and essentially or the boost at whatever frequency you set it at so here we have we drop down we've gone lower than right now what the oscope is reading and then we adjust up and there we go again and now we're up at a higher amount where the oscope can read so if we adjust this on up and then we'll adjust the scope accordingly we can still see there's a little bit of an odd shape to the wave but we're gonna go ahead and that is maximum all 15 and you see there isn't really a flattening there's no clipping it's a little bit of a distortion on the lower part of the wave here um, that's kind of with the crossover but obviously it's not um, it's not clipping at all uh, so very very nice and we'll adjust that up and we can see kind of a little bit of a distortion in the waveform go down there we go much more uh, a lot better there once again, just showing that this one works as well. That's the um, the left output. I'm going to unplug this real quick, and I'm going to plug it into the, the right output, and you'll see the signal should look roughly about the same. Um, and then, of course, this also has uh, a full range front and left output, and that's, of course, in case you only had, uh, say, one um, channel out you know one set of channels you know for output you know just your left and right and that was it coming off your head unit then you could run it through this run your sub off of one uh, of the one set of channels for the uh, low uh, output and then um, run uh, the full range uh, for any of the, the remaining system 